This is part two of our lesson on quadratic word problems. So our second question is a different type of question. This one is a finance problem. It says when a car dealership sells their newest model for $25,000, they can sell 15 cars. For every $1,000 they lower the price, they can sell three more cars. At what price should they sell the cars to maximize their revenue? So we've seen these types of questions before, ones where we're trying to calculate changes in the finance. And what we've decided to do in the past is to let X be the number of changes that we're making to the price. So are we going to uh, lower the price once, twice, three times, four times, five times? That's what we're trying to figure out. So I'm going to start by letting X be the number of times they lower the price. So from there, when I'm doing one of these questions, I like to organize my information using a table. I find that helps. So what we've got here is we have the price and we also have how many they're selling. So I'm going to make a little table with price and the number that they're selling, so number sold. And we're going to compare two things here. We're going to look at what they can do right now. So I usually call that the original. And then we're going to look at what they're planning to do to change. I'm going to write that as the change. So the question says that they can sell it for $25,000. So our starting price is $25,000. And they know if they sell it at that price that they can sell 15 of those cars. Now they don't want to leave it that way, they want to make a change. So their change is that they're going to lower the price by $1,000. So next to the change I'm going to put $1,000 and I'm going to put a minus sign because they're lowering the price, it's going to be less. And then they know that they can sell three more cars, so the number sold is going to go up by three, so I'm going to put a plus to show that it's going up, three. Now, the price is going down and the number are going up, but I don't know how many times they're going to do it. So if I think about the price, if they lower the price once, then they're just going to take off that $1,000 and it's going to be two, sorry, $24,000. But they might lower it twice, or three times, or four times, or five times. So what we do is we multiply the change by the number of times that they're going to change it. So if they're lowering the price five times, we're going to take off 1,000 times five, or $5,000. So that means that the price is going to come out to be $25,000 minus $1,000 for every time they change the price. And the number sold is going to be 15 plus another 3 for every time they change the price. Now we've talked before about revenue. Revenue is the amount of money you take in from selling something. So revenue is the number sold times the price, or the price times the number sold. Now if I go to substitute in my information, I know that the price is going to be 25,000 minus 1,000x, and the number sold is 15 plus 3x. Now if I look at the question, it didn't tell me what the revenue is that they were going to make. So I don't have a number to put in here. I could keep writing the word revenue, but I think for now I'm just going to shorten it down to the letter R so that I don't have to write quite as much. So at this point, what I need to do is I need to expand, I need to collect up my like terms, and then we'll decide on a solving method. So, I'm going to leave that as an R. 25,000 times 15 
is 375,000. 25,000 times 3x is 75,000x. Negative 1,000 times 15 is negative 15,000x. And negative 1,000 times 3x is negative 3,000x. I will collect up the like terms, and I think I'm going to try to write them in order from highest degree, so the largest exponent, down to the lowest degree, which would be no exponent. So I have negative 3,000 x squared. I have two like terms here with x's, so I have 75,000 take away 15,000, which leaves me with 60,000 x and then plus 375,000. All right, from here, I need to make some decisions about how I'm supposed to do this question. Um, first thing I do notice is that there is no number on this side. So I cannot move this equation to the other side to make it positive. I do not have a number to move over to this side. And if I take a look at the original question, I see the word maximize. It wants me to figure out the price that would maximize my revenue. So maximize is one of my max min words. Max min words are things that tell me that I should complete the square. So I look for words like maximum, minimum, or what I call my EST or EST words like highest, lowest, biggest, smallest, oldest, youngest. Um, so since I have the word maximize, that does tell me that I need to complete the square. So things that will tell me the word maximize, also the fact that there is no number here, are all clues that tell me that I should be completing the square on this. So I'm going to make a little note that we're going to complete the square. Okay, so to complete the square, what we do is we group together everything that has an x. And what we need to do is take out whatever is in front of the x squared. So we will factor out the negative 3,000. And I have x squared. And then I'm going to just do 60,000 divided by negative 3,000 and I get negative 20, so there will be a negative 20 x left behind. And then we still have that 375,000 at the end. All right, the next thing we want to do is we want to stretch this out into a trinomial that can be factored. And we're going to do that by trying to find numbers that will make this factor. So normally what we do is we look for two numbers that multiply to the first and last and then add to the middle. So I'm looking for two numbers that multiply to, well, I'm not sure what, but we'll figure that out. And they need to add to the middle, which is negative 20. Now, the rule here is that we want the two numbers that we find that multiply to negative 20 to be the same two numbers. So negative 10 and negative 10 would definitely add to negative 20. Um, a nice little trick for that is just to divide it by 2. And then we're going to multiply negative 10 and negative 10 to get positive 100. So the number that we're missing that would make this factor is that positive 100. So I'm going to write in plus 100. But if I write that in, I have changed the question. And we're not really allowed to do that. So unfortunately, what I need to do is cancel out what I've just done by subtracting 100 as well. Now the problem is that minus 100 is not part of what I want. 
So what we want to do is get the negative 100 out of the bracket. And the only way to do that is to multiply it out. So we're going to multiply negative 3,000 times negative 100, and then that should foil it out of the bracket for us. So revenue, still that R, keep writing it down, is negative 3,000 times x squared minus 20x plus 100. Now negative 3,000 times negative 100 is positive. 300,000 and I still have that 375,000. Next thing I'm going to do is just collect up the like terms outside of the bracket. So 300,000 plus 375,000 is 675,000. And the last thing we need to do is we need to factor what's in the bracket. So you may have learned a shortcut for that, but I'm actually going to do it the long way. Um, I'm going to factor to try to find two things that multiply to 100 and add to negative 20. And conveniently, I've already calculated those. They are negative 10 and negative 10. So over in the margin, I'm just going to factor x squared minus 20x plus 100. So that's going to be x squared. The two numbers are negative 10, so negative 10x minus 10x plus 100. Out of the first part, I can take out an x, and the second one I can take out a negative 10. So here we have x, and we're left with x minus 10. Here I take out a negative 10, we're left with x minus 10, which is x minus 10 times x minus 10 which is the same thing as x minus 10 squared. So what I'm going to do is take out the x squared minus 20x plus 100 and in its place put in x minus 10 squared. All right, so we have now completed the square. Um, the only thing we need to do is think about how this is going to affect my answer. What does this tell me about the number of times they should change the price? So when you're looking at maximum and minimum, we have discussed how the A value tells us whether it's a maximum or a minimum. Since it's a negative, that means the parabola, if we drew it, would be upside down. So this has a maximum. And the maximum or minimum value is always that number at the end, the K value. So this is going to be my max value. And then the part inside the bracket tells me the x value where our maximum occurs. And we always do the opposite of what we see. So here this would be when x is 10. So we have a maximum of 675,000 when x equals 10. So what does that mean in terms of the question? Well, this is actually revenue. So the $675,000 is the maximum revenue. So I'm going to say the maximum revenue. Is $675,000. And instead of saying when x equals 10, I'm going to think about what we let x represent. And at the very beginning, we said x was going to be the number of times that they lowered the price. So if x is 10, that means they're going to lower the price 10 times. So when the price is lowered, now to finish off the question, all we need to do is take a look at price. We decided that price was going to be 25,000 minus 1,000 x. So all I need to do is say that price is 25,000 minus 1,000 times x, which is 10. So we're going to end up subtracting $10,000. So they would sell their cars at $15,000 each. So therefore, the price should be $15,000.